Hi everyone, I'm Leslie Ullman from Heffy Doodle and I'm here at scrapbook.com and I have got this fun tag to share with you guys today. This tag is featuring some of our new product. We have got no matter what, our stamps and dies. We also have this fun tag along die set and our grassy last border dies. This is a fun shaker tag. Let's get started and we can make it together. I'm going to start today by die cutting some of the tag shapes using our tag along dies. First of all, we have a frame shape and then we also have a solid die shape for the base of our tag. I'm not going to need these elements today, so I'll set them to the side. I'm going to cut these out of some white cardstock. So let's lay these down here like this. and I'll run it through the die cutting machine. So this gives me a base for my tag, but I also get a frame, which will be the front of our shaker today. Now, because it is a shaker card, I am also going to need to cut out some acetate using the solid one, not the frame one and I'll run this through. And then I will adhere this to our white frame. I'm also going to use the frame die here to die cut some self-adhesive foam. So here I have some thick foam here and it will, I'll be able to use this frame to cut this out. Now this shiny surface is a little bit slippery. So I'm going to use some washi tape to hold it in place to make sure it doesn't move as I run it through the machine. Now I'm not going to need this inside piece, but I will put it aside so I can use it for another project. This frame is the piece that I'm going to need today. Now when I actually cut out the frame with my white cardstock, I was left with this little piece on the inside. So I'm going to be using this to create a grassy border along the front of my card. I'm using the Heffy Doodle Grassy Lass Border Dies. So let's pick one of these and I will die cut a shallow grass border along here. And I also want some grass to go behind in the background. But for that, I'm going to first of all use my larger die to die cut a little bit of card. I don't need too much. Let's go this way. I'll run this through first so I can get the bottom edge of my tag and then I'll run it through again with my grass border die. So I'm going to keep this one and then using this piece and I think I'll use a different border die. Here we go. And because this grass piece is actually the same size as the base of our tag, then this will help me assemble everything together really neatly. So now we have all our pieces. We have the base of our tag. We also have some grass, which is looking a little bit white at the moment, but we'll fix that in a moment. This is going to go right on top. And then we also have the top of our tag here, which is our beautiful white frame. Now I'm going to add some thin double-sided sticky tape to the back of this frame all the way around and stick the acetate right onto here, like this. Now we're going to add our foam frame right onto the back of this. So let's pull off some of the adhesive. What I like to do is I like to rip it at the bottom and fold some of the, the release paper down a little bit and then do the same at the top. And then I can line this up on my frame and get it positioned nicely. And then pull away the release paper. Now I'll set this frame to the side while I do some inking on these other pieces. For my background, I want to use some shaded lilac distress oxide for a nice purpley, like a pastel purple background and using light circular motions, I'm going to build up the color on my background. I like to have the ombre effect, so I'm gonna leave it like this. And I'll quickly clean my surface before I move on to using the cracked pistachio ink for our grass. 
I'm going to color these in exactly the same way, but this time using Crack Pistachio Distress Ink. I just love the way that these colors work so well together. And I give, I think it gives a nice fresh springtime feel, which is perfect for our little garden gnomes. Now that we have these all inked up, we're ready to assemble it. So let me grab some sticky tip. First of all, I'm going to take the larger piece and stick this straight onto the purple tag, just like this. And now I'm going to take the thin piece of grass and stick it onto this panel on the front. So let's stick this right on here on the inside of our frame on top of the acetate. And now we have our two layers ready for, to, for our shaker. But first we need some gnomes. So let me grab my stamp set. To build our little scene inside, I'm going to be using a couple of different stamps from the no matter what stamp set. First of all, this little guy. I'm also going to use the mushroom or toadstool the butterfly net and also three of the little flower images. I'll use a stamp platform to make sure that I can get them all stamped at the same time. Once I have these stamped, I'm going to color them in using some alcohol markers. So I'll use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp these. And this is an ink that works really well with any alcohol markers. So I'm going to quickly color these in and then we can continue our project. I colored in all my stamps and I went ahead and die cut them all out so that we're ready to assemble the tag. So first of all, I'm going to take this cute little toadstool and I'm going to stick him right on the inside, inside the shaker, just over here on the right hand side like this. When I put the frame on top, you can still see it through the inside. For my gnome, he's going to go on the front, over here on the left, but we're going to put the, the net, the butterfly net in his hand, just like this. Next, I'm going to use some wet glue to stick these to the grass on the front. And before I assemble this, I'm actually going to take one more stamp from the no matter what stamp set, this cute little dragonfly, and using an acrylic block, I'm going to stamp the dragonfly in the inside of my tag. I'm going to stamp it just to the right of the butterfly net. So it looks like our gnome is about to have a catch. Now, I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle and fun to this project. So I'm adding some clear sequins in the middle. Then I can peel back the release paper here and stick this right on top. Now I'm going to take some ribbon and some twine to finish off our tag. So just some plain satin ribbon. just like this. And then I've picked some of this lemon colored twine and tie it into a cute little bow. To finish off, I will just trim away the ends of my satin ribbon. And now I have a fun little shaker tag. And this is the perfect size that you can even mount it onto the front of a standard note card as well. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message.